Trading trends, a very important skill and observation that you need to be able to make within your day trading and really swing trading and even investing. But a lot of people don't quite fully understand them. So that's what I want to address in this video because yes, trends in and of themselves, pretty easy concept, but sometimes it's too easy because it becomes too general and then people miss the little nooks and crannies of it. And that's what I wanna focus on here. And I wanna show you all of this through an actual trade that I made. In fact, it was $700 in 15 seconds, thanks to understanding some trend dynamics. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But with this, I want to first set up a little context. And if you're not familiar, I'll set up, do a quick plug. I do record myself trading live. There's an entire playlist on my channel of me just trading live, so you should go check those out. But on some of those videos, I get accused. People are shocked. People are horrified. What are you doing? You're trading against the trend. What? That, what are you doing? Even for the internet, it's pretty shocking. And I totally understand where these people are coming from. In fact, with the trade I'm about to show you, I can see how I could get that accusation. Now, to be fair, on this particular trade, nobody threw that accusation out at me, but I could see how somebody may in the future because of some things that were unfolding. But I wanna explain a little bit more so you have the full understanding of trend trading and how when you understand all the different angles, you can really structure some nice profitable trade plans. So let's get into this trade. Now to set up some context here, I am doing options and I am looking to buy a put option. Now, if none of that makes any sense to you, just comment below option guide and I will link you to a free class I put together called the big basics of options. But for the sake of this video, just understand that a put option means I wanna see the price go down in order to make money. Again, I'll say that again. If the price goes down, I will make money. And that's what I'm looking to capitalize on. I think the price is gonna go down. But with that being said, there are people out there, maybe you're one of them saying, wait, what, what do you mean you think the price is gonna go down, Clay? I understand candlesticks and I can see that the price was down here and now the price is all the way up there. Clay, you are going against the trend. What are you doing? You should be getting a call option. Call options meaning you would make money if prices go up. Now I do see where those people are coming from because yes, in all actuality and to be fair, there is an uptrend right here. You cannot deny the fact that there is a broad upwards channel right here. With that being said, there are multiple layers of trends. So yes, very near term trend is up, but do you notice anything else about the chart? Well, if you look from a broader sense, maybe you're saying, and maybe you captured this from the beginning, if you did, fantastic. Well, yeah, Clay, it is in a little uptrend here, but keyword there being little uptrend because when you look at the bigger picture, well, you had some highs right there, and then you had a high right there, then you had these highs, and now you have that high. And if you envision those as stair steps, these stair steps are going in the downwards direction. So in other words, overall, the trend is in the downwards direction. So yes, there are uptrends within an overall downtrend. I wanna say that again. There can be uptrends within an overall downtrend, but an uptrend in an overall downtrend is just, in my opinion, and now of course not all situations, but in this situation was an opportunity because if this thing decides to come back over and just continue with the downtrend, or excuse me, see, that's why words matter. The overall downtrend, then I would be just fine. So words matter and even me trying to explain it illustrates that is yes, right now there is an uptrend. I kind of got things, no doubt about that. So uptrend right here. But overall, there is this downtrend. And if I were to just kind of illustrate with that line right there, I've actually now drawn in a bear flag pattern. So this pattern is actually bearish. But the key distinction here is, do you understand? Are you aware that there can be multiple trends within a trend? Again, to reiterate, overall trend is down. Within the overall trend right now, there is that uptrend. And because the overall trend is down, I believe that this trend right here is not real. I believe that this is a fake uptrend. What leads me to believe that it's a fake uptrend? Well, the fact that the overall trend is down. And this is where trading, I don't wanna say it gets complicated, but it does illustrate the fact that, yeah, unfortunately you just can't say, oh, I know what an uptrend is. Uptrends are things just going up. Well, well, no, there's more to it that goes to that, as I just explained. So just keep in mind, especially if you're a beginner, or maybe if you've been struggling, 
It, maybe that's your struggle. H have you been maybe oversimplifying things? Again, I'm not saying you take things to the rocket scientist side of things, but it can also be too simplistic as, oh, that's going up, therefore it's in an, up, it's in an uptrend. No, there, there's a little bit more nuance to it. And when you start to understand this nuance, like I said, you can build yourself better trade plans. You can give yourself better edges. So once more to reiterate, yes, in this situation, there is a miniature uptrend, but it's miniature because it's taking place within the context of an overall downtrend. Therefore, I believe the miniature uptrend is going to fail and it's not actually a true uptrend. Now, of course, maybe it is the start of a totally new uptrend. That is also possible. And that's why risk management matters. That's why we've got to be always aware of the fact that, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my thesis is wrong. But the fact of the matter is, hopefully you see that there's a little bit more to the thesis than, oh, that's just an uptrend or, oh, that's just a downtrend. No, there's got to be a little bit more to it within your trading. So let's see how this actually plays out. Now, the nice thing about the options here that I'm trading is I don't need a huge crash or anything like that. I just need the price to go down minimally and then I'm able to pull out some nice, nice profits here. So as, as far as my screen works, this is green or this is, excuse me, white right now because I'm trying to buy. Uh, but as soon as I buy, that will turn green and then a whole new line will show up down here and it'll be white. And that white line will represent me trying to sell. And then when that white line changes to green, that means I have been able to sell. And then if you just wanna watch kind of the numbers fluctuate, you'll be able to see those right here and that spot right there. And then when the number shows up in that spot, uh, that'll be where the, my final uh, profit comes from. So maybe a little overwhelming, not trying to do that, but just so my screen makes a little bit more sense. So let's get this trade underway. So it's gone green, I am in. And like I said, now I just need to see this candle over here come down a little bit. Don't need anything major, just for it to come down, be red a little bit. And then you'll notice the number show up over here. So it goes red a little bit. And right there is the $700 that was put in my pocket quite quickly. And I know I made a pretty crazy claim earlier about $700 in 15 seconds, but you can see right there, the time was in at 9.36.52, was out at 9.37.07. So there's the 15 seconds, there is the $700. And like I said, I didn't need it to come down a whole lot, but the miniature uptrend within the overall downtrend did produce enough of a pullback for me to put, at least in my opinion, some very worthwhile profits in my pocket. So within your trading, I would encourage you to begin to peel back the layers of trends. Break things down into what's the overall trend? Maybe what's a medium term trend? What are those near term trends? And if you see some opportunities where, you know, because of this trend and that trend, I think this little trend right here is either going to continue or it's going to fail or, you know, there's there's different uh, you know pieces that go to it. Uh, but I want to illustrate here is just before you go and accuse me or anybody else of doing something in regard to the trend, make, make sure that you fully understand trends because, you, you know, people that are, you know, accusing me of going against a trend, they're not wrong because technically speaking, I was going against the trend. Other people's well, elections, yeah. mm, nom, 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 nom. But do you see why that's too broad? It's too broad because, well, well, what trend was I going against? Well, I was going against the miniature trend, but I was going with the overall trend, which was down. So that's where the words matter and that's where angles matter because to just say that it was wrong because I was going against the trend, you know, like if I did my job right here, you now see how that statement is a little bit too broad in its uh, accusation. But I hope this helps. If there are any other questions, leave those down below. Again, if you do want to learn more about options and what you saw here, I just comment below option guide and I will link you to that free class. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for these sorts of videos, then as always, I read and reply to all comments. So if you have a suggestion, let me know down below and I, I will definitely read it and uh, reply to it. So thanks for watching and get out there and start to fully understand how trends work and how they can be used to your advantage and give yourself an edge as a day trader. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. 
But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.